tonight. Uh, we have got you the heir to the throne of the Prince of Darkness. We've flown him over from America. We've chauffeured him in from the airport. We've got him a great big bag of sweets that keep him happy. It is <laughs> Mr. Jack Osborne. <laughs> and the rather fabulous FC Kahuna. Boom, shot Back in blind. Comedian Jimmy Carr is with us throughout the show. Yay! <laughs> That's his mum. Uh, we're playing <laughs> Granny, Tranny or Fanny. I'll explain later. And the return of a special edition of Name That Tune. But first of all, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, can you please be upstanding for Mr Jack Osborne? <laughs> I told you it'd be fun, didn't I? Ah, yes. Not a bad start. How are you? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm not bad. Very weird, all the camera crew people following you all the time. Ah, uh, just a little bit. It is. Does that not do your headings? When I met you earlier, they were still there. Kind of get used to it, you know. It's been like almost two years now, so... And when they go, you'll just be like... Ugh. No, you're kind of happy. <laughs> yeah, no, you're yeah, good yeah. point, actually. All right, then. Oh, by the way, because you're under 18, I'm very sorry about this, due to some weird British law, uh, the Licensing Act of 1964, uh, Section 169D, uh, to be precise, um, I'm only allowed to offer you some beer if you have a meal with it. So I know you've <laughs> spotted it down here and you're very oh. excited. We've got some pork scratchings and a pickled egg. Oh, <laughs> very oh, and as long as you eat that, you can have some beer. And we'll be within the strains of the law. Strains right. or restraints, something like that. Do I, do I have to have, a, like, a, a bit of the food first, or can I just...? Um, you can sip the beer first, possibly, <laughs> as long as you eat an egg. All right. All right. And while you get tucked in, uh, we'll have a quick look uh, at the, uh, the Osbournes. The uh, second series starts on MTV UK. We're very excited. It starts on February the 5th. Have a look. I'm Kelly, and this is my dorky brother, Jack. Happy Jack wasn't all... Yeah, that sensualist. Jack, you just made up a word. Kelly, stop throwing my Prada jacket. Oh my god, that was the gayest thing you've ever said. Kelly, I hope your album fails. Oh, shut up, Jack. So they rode on his head in the Jack! The Osbournes is fake. I think you and Kelly let it slip that a couple of bits were fake. Tell the people no. It, no, it's it's not fake. Not one bit of footage is fake. It's just sometimes they just have to like, you know, they edit things. You know, sometimes you know. Well, in the first episode of the first series, I had three different hairdos in 22 minutes. But it's um, not, not one bit as fake. You have got your film crew here tonight as well, yeah, like yeah. I said earlier. Um, so the Osbournes film crew is knocking about. Does this mean we're actually going to be on the Osbournes, hopefully? Possibly, possibly. <laughs> if we swear enough. <laughs> fuck, fuck! <laughs> Yay! We're on, we're in there! Yay! Uh, made so look, it's made magic. The cut. So now we're on Barn Sloppy. But if I come over here, we're on the Off Barn. <laughs> and then we're back on Barn Sloppy, like my shot. And then we're on your shot. Off <laughs> Barn. <laughs> and then it's Barn Sloppy. Oh, Try to catch you out there. Oh dear. Uh, now, normally we would give uh, this rabble here uh, that counts as the audience a moment of glory. They'd normally be asking you questions. The first person we can go over to now is Goldtooth, drum and bass impresario, and uh, selected Big Brother loser, Goldie. Goldie, are you there, darling? Uh, hi, Sarah. <laughs> looking very well. Is everything all right? How's the world of drum and bass, Goldie? Things are going great. I'm really having a wonderful time. It's fun to be here. And do you have a question for our Jack? Uh, yes, my question for you, Jack, is are you as rock and roll as your dad? Mm. Well, 
That hmm wasn't very rock and roll for a Well, start, define right? rock and roll, I mean. Put it this way, I don't remember New Year's, really. I can't remember past 11.30. Oh, well, that's, yeah, it's not New Year if you can remember any of it. You have to wake up chained to a fridge in Brixton and then you know you've had a good New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Just me then? OK. So, um, I read in your dad's book about him snorting some oh, ants, some yes. live ants. I don't know if you've spotted this under here. They're not usually hanging around. Uh -uh. Now then, mm -hmm. to find out if you are as rock and roll, would you... Now, these are real Where's ants. Where's the party at? Did well, they were. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were. I've had some jiff about this in rehearsals already. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oh, here we so, go, here um, we go. oh God! <laughs> <laughs> would you do a wine and go I mean, I presume that's what you'd use. If you'd, is that what you'd roll up a pipe and uh, <laughs> Would you? I ain't gonna snort them. No. They're edible, apparently. Do it, Jack. Yeah, do it. Uh, I'll eat it. I'll eat them. Will you eat one? I'll eat them. All right. All right. You ready? Not too bad. Let's um, try it. Go on. No, I'll eat some. Come on. No, I. Go on. Thank you. Oh. Next question, by the way, Jack. Oh, it's my teeth. It's um, it's from a, a man who used to party with your father, Mr. Tommy Vance, is in the audience. Yeah. Darling, I can hardly see you. Have you, got a, have you got a question for Jack at all there, Tommy? Have I got a question for Jack? Mm -hmm. Do you think you have the capacity to really recognise a true Aussie fan? Yeah, pretty much. All okay, right, well, then. let's get bring it on there. Good question, Tommy. All this right. is leading somewhere. Let's find out if Jack let's can actually do this. Let's have a look. What about these men here? <clears throat> this is Pete. Is he an Aussie fan, do you reckon? No. Ooh, you're going for no. Is that your final answer? I'm all right. I'm going to go for it. I think he is. Let's have a look. Think that he's a fan of your dad's music? No. No? Um, let's see if you're right. You're saying no. Is he a fan of Ozzy Osbourne? Let's have a look. Uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. God. Oh, God. Crazy. Oh, no! <laughs> Dirty bugger. <laughs> wow. How does that That's make a first. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> No, I believe uh, that someone else has got a question to ask you. Uh, it's actually Susan Sandon, obviously. Susan, what's your question for Jack, please? Um, your sister, your dad, obviously, have recorded songs. Do you have any intention of becoming a recording artist yourself? And what is up with your hair these days? <laughs> oh. <laughs> My hair yeah. is actually the love fro. I'll have everyone know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as in back and fro. <laughs> Exactly, there you go. Yeah. Oh, hey. And I'm about as musical as an empty shoe. Right, that's good. <laughs> an empty shoe. Uh, we were wondering, though, we couldn't start wondering what it would be like if you did record a single. And this is what we came up with. Have a look. We like the moon! Scene. <laughs> Are you missing your family while you're so far away from them or not? Um, I'm actually, Kelly's actually in London now, so... Is she? Yeah. We kind of knew that, actually. Mm. 
because I've got a bit of a surprise. <gasps> Please welcome now, a bit of a Von Sloping exclusive. It is Kelly and Sharon Osborne, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Sorry, Dad's not here. He had to. He had to stay home and swear. Are you going to say hello to your brother Kelly? Oh, shut up! You know he is such a freaking retard, but I'm his sister. And if anyone says anything bad about him, I'm going to smack him in the head. You, you stinking ass crap! You're grounded. <laughs> you're grounded. Okay. What, what are your plans while you're over here? What are you up to? Oh well, my my daughter Kelly has got a single out. Oh, uh, shut up! You shut up! No, that's the title of the single. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've booked her on a couple of shows to huh. promote it. A couple. Well, what, what have you been on so far? Top of the Pops, mm -hmm. Rise, The Ant and Dex Show, This Morning with Fern and whoever it is now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else they got me on. What the papers say, the right stuff, Heaven and Earth Show, Breakfast with Frost, and Dad's Army. <laughs> you are quite ambitious, though, aren't you, for your kids? No, that's not fair. All I want is for our family to be the most famous family in the world. Isn't that what any mother wants for their children? That's fair enough. Uh, Jack, can I ask you, what do you think of, of your beautiful sister? What are you asking him for? He's such a jerk soda. Oh, my God, but if anyone says anything bad about him, I'm going to rip their fucking eyes off. Okay? <laughs> Piece of total and utter stinking bum dust. <laughs> OK, uh, any plans for the future? Like, look at Jake's face. <laughs> we are going to buy lots of small dogs and not house train them. OK. Yeah. We're going to shout at each other for no reason. Right. And we're going to continue to throw meat products into our neighbour's garden. Good. Well, that sounds fantastic. Great. Thank you so much for coming along. It is, of course, Sharon Kelly and, of course, Jack Osborne. Thank you very much. Oh, shut you shut up. You shut up. Why don't you bloody shut, shut up? up? You're ruining it for everybody. You shut up. You shut up. Kelly and Sharon later. But now we're live in the Bon Slobbio. Singing, seeing the lights. Yes, give it up. It's super grass.
celebrate when we'll be introducing Jack Osborne to comedian Jimmy Carr. There's music from FC Kahuna hey. and hey. Mull hey. Historical Society as well. And there's three dirty, dirty lap dancing ladies. Don't go away. I'll come round to your house and weed down your chimneys. I mean it. <laughs> Settling. Uh, welcome back to Born Slow with the show that's not a fair to wear big pants. Still to come, wanton drum destruction and music from FC Kahuna. Plus, of course, is in the house. Jack's back, baby. It's Jack Osborne. Is it? <laughs> uh, oh, there they are. Off they go. Fitting ladies. Off they go. <laughs> right, Jack's here, of course, and he's brought along with him uh, his very own film crew, as you do. Yes, um, as you so do. Yeah, we might be all Woody Osborne's very... I mean, I'm not that bothered about being on Osborne's, but if I wanted to be, I could come over here like and be Osborne's. on the Osborne. And then I could go over there and be born sloppy. Born sloppy. Born sloppy. And, and then I'd come back and Osborne's just for a second. Osborne's. Osborne's. And then back born, 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 born sloppy. sloppy. <laughs> Oh dear. Anywho, right then, let's meet. It's really funny, but slightly unsettling comedian that is Mr. Jimmy Carr. He's popped in. Say hello. <laughs> Somewhere. Hello. Uh, are you all right, love? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Hey, you you look very you? smart tonight. Well, I thought I'd make an effort. It is nice. It's a good look. You're working it. Uh, so, uh, Jack, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jack, Jack, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jack. There you go. Hello again. Hello again. Uh, how are you doing, Jimmy? Oh, things for international relations here, you see, at the Barnes Lobby House. Out of interest, do you consider yourself British or American? I hold a British passport, so I'm British. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Do you? Well done, us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are yeah. British, aren't you? Particularly Jim? British. This is what you'd be modelling yourself on. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, now we've got we have got some questions for you. Uh, the first one uh, is from the audience. Let's find. Uh, we'll find Sue, I think. Where's Sue? oh yeah, Sue from Falmouth. Uh, she collects the small green levers from inside photocopiers. Would you believe? <laughs> she asks, "What's your favourite television program of all time, apart from yours?" Right, apart from your face and mine, clearly, because mm -hmm. I'm in it. Um, I, I enjoy the human zoo that is the Osbournes. Oh, well, thank you. It's fabulous, well done you. Uh, and the sort of update of Tiswas that is this. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a compliment, actually. I'm I think it is a compliment. Oh, there we go. Well, the queuing up to quiz you, would you believe it, Jimmy? Uh, here's uh, Susan Sarandon uh, with a quick query for you. So, Jimmy, I'm told that you're very rude. I've never seen your show. Um, I admire someone who's, who's courageous, but... Why are you so rude? Are you just overcompensating, or are you trying to be funny, or are you just basically a very rude person? I don't know. She's curious. Right, well, there's a couple of things there, obviously. Uh, firstly, I'm not rude. Uh, you ginger witch. <laughs> have, you, have you cleared that up there? Uh, secondly, I don't think I'm rude. I'm just honest. Okay. We can all say she's big-boned and not very photogenic, <laughs> but we all know we mean fat and ugly. Right, no, no, no. <laughs> You do seem very well brought, so you're sitting very straight and you've got your lovely suit on. Do you ever go out raving, you know, in, in the middle of the night? You know, smoking joysticks and kissing girls and... Not really. No? No, I mean, I, I don't know what the kids are doing these days. I, I, I've never eaten ants or anything like that. I tend to be out of work every night, so I'm kind of, I spend a lot of time in. Sometimes that's crazy. Sometimes I leave the immersion heater on. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, I think well, really I know. You, should have a, you should have a bit of a night out with Jack, actually. This is leading somewhere, believe it or not. I know that you had a famously wonderful night uh, at, an, at a hot night spot, didn't you? And, and which upstanding member of society took you there, Jack? Mr Marilyn Manson. Um, 
Mister, well, let's clear that up. <laughs> I've got to say, uh, it's your. We thought we'd give you the chance to relive those magic moments oh. of lap dance of heaven because no, here tonight you're going to have another lap dance <laughs> in the next few moments. I promise you. But who's it going to be with? That really is up to you. We are going to play, ladies and gentlemen, Granny, Tranny, or Fanny. <laughs> no, I do want to clear it up. That's Fanny in the American sense. Like, ass. Uh, so, Jack, using your skills of observation, you have to look oh, at three uh, lovely work, yeah. ladies and try to work out which is the Granny, which is the Tranny, and which is the Fanny. Lady, old lady, or lady man, whichever you are, please now strut your stuff. I've absolutely no idea. Do you want to see that naked? <laughs> uh, you know, that's pretty convincing right now. I'm, I'm feeling it. I believe she's feeling it too. <laughs> I, I think she's probably feeling it. Now that's... I I'm see not feeling that as much. No, there, there seems to be some awkwardness there. <laughs> right, that's, so. probably, that's probably not her first set of hips. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm starting to think that, yeah. Right, OK. Did you want to see that naked? Mm. It might be interesting. Now... I'm worried about that one, actually. I think that's the one I've got to be worried about the most. I'm imagining that could, yeah. Hmm. Just something about the broad shoulders. <laughs> Who's it going to be? I think that it's, it's one, two, or three. Uh, it's decision time. There are three dancers there. Only one of them is going to be a hot fanny, a hot tush. I, yeah, I, mean, I, I think I'm going to have to go for one. How about yourself? I think it's an excellent choice. Yes. Uh, you think, are you definitely going to go for number one? Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to sure, go. Are you sure, It's definitely the people's go. choice, I All think. right, then. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, let's see who you turn down. You turn down lovely number two. That's our granny, Beryl, from Dorset. She's 75. There she is, lovely lady. Somebody give her a hand, it's all right. No, then, um, let's see number three. That's our tranny, that's Gary oh, from Basingstoke. Oh, so that means you chose number one, Mr. Ooh. Osborne. That's our real life lap dancer, Nikki. Nikki loves her work and particularly enjoys doing the splits on long grass. Oh, it's difficult to own in a very special way. Yeah. Come over here, lovely lady. They are apparently real. Do remember, there's no such thing as an inappropriate direction. <laughs> They're all appropriate. I couldn't agree with you anymore. gets his lap dance. Uh, the fabulous FC, FC Kahuna are going to play This If Nothing Is Wrong. Let's dance.
dirty. We like it. <laughs> All right, but you were listening to us, so you could know. I noticed that you were tapping your feet, and it gave us an idea for a game. We like that here at Barn Sloppy. We thought you'd combine your two favourite hobbies, which of course is drumming and having great big ding dong battles with your sister. Now, as you know, obviously, we've got your lovely sister Kelly here tonight, joining us on Barn Sloppy, Whoa. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> The best. We're gonna have a drum off, if you will. I noticed that you were tapping your feet and it gave us an idea for a game. We like that here at Barn Sloppy. We thought you'd combine your two favourite hobbies, which of course is drumming and having great big ding dong battles with your sister. Now, as you know, obviously, we've got your lovely sister Kelly here tonight joining us on Barn Sloppy, Whoa. ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. The best. We're going to have a drum off, if you will. You up for that, Kelly? Yeah, I'm going to beat your ass. OK, all right. Then. Points will be awarded for musical stupidity on a rising scale of mentalness. Do you want to take your place? All right. Uh, if you're let, in agreement. Let me make a fool of myself. Oh, yeah, off you go. Right. right then. Uh -oh. Kelly, are you ready? I'm ready to rock, yeah. OK, Jack, are you ready? Kind of. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jack and Kelly, get ready to skin up. <laughs>
Chelsea from Slots. It's Ryan Giggs attached to poorly little baby Badger with some curling tongs. It's a true story. So well done. You both did pretty well there. But let's go to our proper judges and see who won that. Let's see. Oh, it's Jason Lee a winner! Nice, ladies. Whatever. Bada bing, bada boom. Right then, uh, we've still got lots of uh, very exciting stuff to come up on Barn Stop It's Night, but next week I've got to tell you uh, that we do have uh, Danny Minow is going to be coming down. Woo! The very naughty but rather mm -mm -mm, a delicious boys from Jackass will be here, the dancers will be here as well, which is very exciting. Uh, and also athletes are going to be here. Uh, quite a lineup. What do you reckon, Goldie? Hmm. Amazing. You know, I'm not wearing underwear. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh, so smoky, are you there, mother? Because you've been blowing up the drum kit, Jack. That's what it is. Uh, uh, time now, girls and boys, for a good old fashioned parlor game as we play Name That Tune. But there's a slight difference because this is Mame, that tune. Performing the tunes for us tonight will be these gentlemen here, ten masked men. Check them out. Look at how scary they are. They are very scary indeed. Each of our guests tonight uh, will take it in turns to name that tune and have the chance to win a lovely prize. Jack, you're up first, if that's all right. Sure. All I'll right, play that name Listen that very tune. carefully. See if you can identify the tune that our thrash metal band are playing. <laughs> No fucking idea. <laughs> Any guesses from the audience? Britney Spears! Oh, yeah. oh really? Britney Spears? All right, well, let's see how that should have sounded. I don't do this. Oh, ah, so obviously, see? So, so, no prize, I'm okay. afraid. Sad. Okay. All uh, right, then. Next. Say, like, Britney Spears is like a total dork. <laughs> She's like totally like whatever, you know? She's like, yeah, right, Britney Spears. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, next to go, uh, Mr. Jimmy Carr, you read it? Yes, yes, okay. I am. Listen very carefully. Take it away, gentlemen. <laughs> I thought it was very nice. I thought mm -hmm. it had a lovely beat, and I would give it a thumbs up. I think the kids are going to buy it. Okay. <laughs> Wrong show. Sorry. Um, <laughs> is it um, Britney Spears mm. and Hit Me Baby One More Time again? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Salt and pepper classic. Oh, was she real good? Da, 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 da. <laughs> Mum dancing. <laughs> oh, no, then final Carry chance. Mm. Kelly and Sharon, are you ready? Yes. Okay, you're going to work together as a team. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay, our thrash metal band are going to play one more tune, and you can win all the prizes if you get it right. Listen carefully. Here we go, lads. Okay. <laughs> Is it the one that goes? Arr, 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 arr. Is it that one? I thought, is it like the theme to Fred Bassett or something? <laughs> like no. Charlie Brown or, or something? Or is it uh, Jamie and the Magic Torch? Jamie, no, it's a pop song. Henry's Cat. There's people shouting from the audience. Ricky Martin. Oh. Who? Are you gonna go for? <laughs> We're going for like uh, I don't know. It's a friggin' knockout. I don't know. Do you want to go for Ricky Martin? Yeah, Ricky Martin. Yeah, Ricky and, Martin. Uh, Let's see if you're right. Or something. <laughs> Yes! Yeah. 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 You want a prize? It's a very, very detailed, actually, informative map of Turin. If you have a look there, very good. We've still got the Pamers poetry book, so it's a rollover for next week, kids. Woo. All I can do now is thank my lovely guest tonight, Supergrass, Jimmy Carr, Sharon and Kelly Osborne, FC Kahuna, Tommy 